take a ride. I'm gonna set the club, baby. Make What's going on, there, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching another video here on N54 or more. So, in today's video, we're gonna be changing the uh, strut tower, strut mount, strut top, whatever you wanna call it, on the E46. So, these kind of look a little different um, in some ways, but not too, too different. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them out of the bag, um, and then I'm gonna make sure I match it up once I take the strut out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up, get the wheels off. Uh, I'm not gonna really show taking out the strut because I already did a video on that. Um, I'll put that at the end of the video or put a link to it, one or the other, so you guys will see that. But, let me show you exactly why I'm changing them. This is why I'm changing the this part. You see there? They're completely separated and it's been making this weird noise the whole time. So you can see like it shifts from here and it shifts from here or in that area. So the other side is kind of the same way but not as bad. But you can see that crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car like I said and get these struts removed. Okay, so like I said, I did the uh, other one all the time, but this is a 16 millimeter, I'm pretty sure, and then you have to clamp the back of it to hold it so it doesn't spin. And then down here is your 18 millimeter. So I'm gonna put the jack under the uh, control arm at the bottom down here and support it. So once I pull it, I should be able to just slide it right out. Um, and I'm also going to. Uh, Pull these once I get that out. And these are 13 millimeters. So let me go ahead and try to do this now. Alright, so as you guys see here, I've got my uh spring compression uh, tool set. Um, for this, um, since I'm not cha actually changing the uh, struts, I don't really need to compress them too much. I just need to get them down enough so that I can get some pressure off of the top. Basically the same thing. But uh, for the first thing, I take my first one, slide it through here, just like that. And then I take the next one and I'll thread it on. So as I tighten it, It'll thread and it'll bring the, uh, it'll compress the spring. So you have to do it evenly. Set this other one up. I haven't used this thing once since I got it. Probably should put uh, washers on them there. Maybe. I'll put a washer on it just in case. Can't hurt. I don't think so. I'll put a wash on this one and then put a wash on the other one. So yeah, thread this down. Uh, mine is a 24 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up. All right, so now I've got these basically set up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the best place to put them. I'm gonna put this one under here and slide it around. And then I'm gonna drop this down into here. Lock that pin, lock that pin. So that one's on this side. And then the other side, I'm gonna have to put that down there. And drop this one down. Ooh, that's gonna be a long drill. So basically I've got it like this. Uh, I can't really go any other way other than this. So now I'm going to get my impact gun and I'm going to drill it down. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Four millimeter. Ah, I cannot get that on. Alright, got it. So now I'm going to go ahead and drill this down. Now I'm 
Okay, so I don't know how well you guys can probably hear me, but there's a lot of play in this, and I'm pretty sure that's what's causing my, my noise. Um, but, now I'm gonna pull this off. Hopefully I have enough air pressure. hold on to this piece right here, the strut itself, in order to pull this nut on. Trash. Okay, uh, yeah, my compressor was still really loud, so I just had to get it done. But um, use the same spring compression tools I was using before. Got this in, let me check, I turn to the light. Yeah, so that looks a lot better. Only problem is the cap does not fit in here, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I may just leave it out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this. And then I'm gonna grab the other one out and get to that one. Okay, bad one, good one. Um, pull this out, good one. So uh, this one is fully installed now. I use the jack to uh, hit the uh, little control arm down there, uh, right down there, and then jacked it up, put in the bolt, made sure I got my bracket back in over here, and that's good, got my uh, tie rod, not tie rod, sway bar link um, installed. So this side is done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and knock the other side out and we'll be done. Okay, so like I said, this was the uh, passenger side. This is the driver's side. Both of them pretty bad, especially when you put pressure on them. Um, this side is fully done, uh, all good. I didn't use the uh, new ones because they were not the right size for this so i'm going to tighten these up a little more and i also tighten it up once i drop it down but yeah this side is done also tightened and tightened in here so we are gucci and time to put the wheels back on and get it dragged down okay so we are all done uh put these back on i still got to torque the lug nuts on um retighten these remember these are 13 millimeters uh made sure those are getting tight uh shot these a couple more time with the gun so that's good, that's 21. Um, got the actual dowel that sits in there. I don't know if mine were just broken off or what, but there's none there and there's none there. So I don't know about that, but yeah. See all the cracks in that thing? And now, no cracks. We are looking good. So uh, yeah, we're done. Let me just uh, finish up the rest of this. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, I am super ashy because uh, obviously I've been working, so leave me alone. But, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, turn on notifications, and hit that share button. Hopefully this video helps somebody, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!